Good morning everyone or day or even night. Um, today we will talk a little bit about TS, Lint, IntelliJ and how things should work together. Of course we will also um, try and configure our uh, IntelliJ or WebStorm or whatever you are using to make also auto formatting happening. So uh, let's jump to the settings. By the way, this is an Angular project. I don't remember, I think it's Angular 8, but it does not change anything since we have our TSLint JSON here. It has a couple of rules. Basically, those are the standard rules from the Angular development team. So let's just hop onto the settings. Let's type TSLint, first of all, I'm sorry. Yes, lint like that. Let's go here, and you can use the automatic TS link configuration here. But if you really want to make sure IntelliJ is using exactly your TS lint rules, you go to the manual TS lint configuration, and now just point to the configuration uh, package. Well, yeah, we can keep it here and the configuration file uh, selected specifically to be the tslint json file now apply the settings and uh, okay everything should be fine now yep press okay and let's jump to a uh, file i've i've ruined it also a little bit Oh, wait a second. I think I have something misconfigured here. A sec. Yeah. Settings. TSLint package. We need the package from not modules, I guess. TSLint. Where is it? Oh, here it is. TSLint. As you can see, it found the, the version of TSLint correctly. Now, um, as you can see, I've made the, a couple of changes here. For example, I've made it uh, wrong. If we hover over this red stuff, we can see that the, the role is being taken from the TSLint uh, file. We can do uh, fix by clicking on that or we can press Alt, Shift, Enter. Wait a second, is it? Yeah, we can press, if you move it here, we can press it, uh, Control, Alt, L for auto formatting, and it formats it in the, into a correct format. We can uh, adjust our settings in the TS Lint Fire, for example, if you want our um, methods, if we have multiple attributes to uh, break, down in, into a multiple line we can also use that and now as you can see there is an issue there is a trailing white space we can do this also with Control alt l and it will auto format it or i'm gonna show you another thing that uh, you can automate for yourself if you want to upload a well not upload if you want to make a commit we can also use the automatic reformat code you just click here before you commit it's sort of a git hook and i also recommend to use optimize imports since what it is doing it will optimize all the imports that are um, maybe maybe you will have multiple uh, lines of import from one package for example if this change detection reference would be on a new line and would also import from the same package it would reformat it into one line so again if we try and go well, wait a second let me see what i have done here okay yeah, yeah it's acceptable if you go to commit uh, i don't want to commit everything and just want to commit uh, this file where i did some changes to the store details I also recommend you to check the to-do list. Uh, it's not checked in this project since I, it's my pet project and I'm working alone. But if we are working on a project is, that has multiple teams on that, we can also check 
uh, the check to do's. What it will do, it will look for new to do's in your code and will inform you that, hey, there is some to do. Maybe you want to take a look at that so that you can um, maybe fix it, maybe uh, add some cleanup or whatever. So now we can go and commit. Uh, let's uh, just call it TS. Oops, sorry. TS lint uh, test. And now let's commit. And as you can see here, everything is settled now. It has auto formatted it and it used the TS lint rule. It can be also a ES lint rule. So, and probably in future, uh, the TS lint will migrate to ES lint because, uh, as far as I've read, uh, TS lint is going to be deprecated in favor to ES lint. And basically that's it. Thank you for your time and have a nice day.